One of the reasons why Curator begins to provide value so quickly is the capability of auto-discovering log sources. If we look in this system uh, here on the admin tab, we see that the majority of the logs are actually on auto-discover equals true, meaning, oh, I know how a Juniper uh, firewall or a Linux server or a checkpoint firewall, I mean, I can understand those. All you need to do is point those into Curator's uh, uh, address uh, and Curator begins to re receive them, process them, and recognize them. And there might be some uh, instances in which you need to actually add some that are not auto-discovered. So, for example, one that you may need uh, credentials for. Uh, let me scroll down and see if I see one in here, uh, in which... Uh, you know, you, you actually need to get into the box and get credentials. For example, this one, let's let's look into IBM uh, ZOS. And this is all you need to do. Go into here because we, we know how they actually uh, uh, look like. You need to uh, provide uh, probably a password here uh, in order to be able to pull those logs uh, from, from that particular source. Uh. So another thing that makes the deployment of Curator so, so easily and so valuable in, in with very little involvement is the fact that it can actually discover uh, servers. So it can look at the logs and the flows and you can uh, the, the tool automatically by listening into what what traffic is actually going, it can identify all the different servers that you have. So for example, if I want to see how many FTP servers do I actually have, all I need to do is go here and say discover the servers and the system comes back and tells you these are all the ones that you have. And you may discover some in here that you were not aware that they were there, but because the tool automatically looks for those, it, 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 you don't have to feed them manually, which will be obsolete and will not be very secure. The tool actually is watching those for, for you. Also, the fact that Curator can detect things like the type of protocol being used, as we see here, the type of application, whether it is, you know, peer-to-peer uh, uh, -peer, uh, type of traffic, uh, uh, the, the, the fact that we understand the source and destination port, as well as the source and destination, by the fact that we look, and when, when we look in here, those that have the C, is that we look at the content, and we can actually inspect the first 64 bytes of every packet that is in there. We, we bring all that information in, and that is what allows us to get the, the actual tool to work with existing rules. And let me show here some of the rules that we have in here. And all these rules begin to actually be in process uh, and begin to detect things for you without you having to know all the details. So here's just the first page alphabetically ordered by, you know, looking for anomalies. You don't need to know what type of these anomalies are. The tool has all that intelligence built in and begins to uh, 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 look, look uh, for you. And for example, in here, if we look at the groups of rules that we have. Look at all this richness. If we want to understand, you know, how malware operates, and we keep updating these rules with with, with the product. So all these things that the, the tool finds for you into those very nice uh, offenses. So you basically rack the, the, the curator physical or virtual appliance, is not B, and let, let's it, uh, you know, you define the topology of your network, basically what's your DMC, so it knows what's in, what's out, uh, what's internal, what's external, and these, uh, these uh, rules begin to act uh, for you and generate offenses. And these offenses are a compilation of, combination of logs and flows that really tells you interesting things that you should look for. So let's look at some offenses in here. Uh, for example, this one in particular, sensitive data in transit. This particular uh, uh, offense fires on just uh, one event on one floor. Basically, this is telling, well, there's somebody sending data into Facebook and there's some sensitive data actually going in there. What is that data? Well, that, that's part of the flows, the queue flow, the fact that we inspect those for 64 bytes of every packet. And if we go here, we should be able to f actually find out uh, what type of uh, sensitive data actually it is. So let me actually scroll down here and see if we can identify what is it that it was actually looking for.
it is actually right there if we see there's a credit card number that that you know matches the regex that we have for looking for credit card number uh, so it is actually found in there so all that richness comes out of the box and begins to work ready for you let's look at some uh, other offenses so this one is particularly interesting this is the curator gets uh, fed uh, very very often I believe that it's at, at to one minute interval now these days out of a uh, you know IP reputation of, of different sites so in here this particular offense fires because the event relates to a, a site that we know that is a site known to uh, be used to deploy malware it might be command and control it might be uh, you know you can favor from all the IP reputations that curator gets from the x4 feed let's look at uh, find another example of an offense Let's look at this one in particular. You know, look at this. All this action. This is a combination of 941 events and more than 3,000 flows, all combined. That tells you the picture of everything that happened. You have potential peer-to-peer -peer traffic. Uh, you have scanning. You have uh, you know attacks being detected, exploit being detected. Uh, you know, chat probably this isn't a botnet type of command. So it brings all that into a single thing, which is an offense, which is something that you need to investigate investigate right away and begin to discover things that otherwise would have been uncovered in your enterprise.